Hello everyone, my name is Aiden and welcome to this video. So, I just thought I was going to do a, a short video, well not, or not so much short, but a simple update video because I think that this little update is actually very cheeky and very noteworthy. So, the encampment mission. So, if you remember these missions, like I said, it's one of those, one of those missions you want to sort of ignore because once you complete all the encampments, you have to wait for the mission to end, which is good time to farm, but... If you're not farming, what's the point? So they've added an update now. Uh, so when you complete all of the bonus encampments, the mission automatically finishes. So that means if you have a full-on team that want to smash out the encampments as quick as possible, you look, you could be looking at some really fast times. Now I know these don't really compare to the times for player missions that give four times the reward. But if you, you know, if you have the encampment missions on your mission list or your quests, now they're definitely worth doing because they're a lot quicker. And uh, as you can see here, my team's actually shown up to help. But um, I will, you, you will see at the end that when we complete the final a bonus encampment, that is going to completely finish off this mission, which I think is great. Um, I think they need to find a way to speed up missions in a sense because the, some of the missions take far too long there's too much waiting around and you know you're just like oh really can we just not skip this part and get to the action you know it's just uh, very time consuming some of it which you just you can't be asked for all the time now um another reason i'm actually making this video i'm ex oh my goodness i'm extremely tired i was um i was up all night last night uh, i was chilling at a friend's house and then uh, in the morning i went home and I was going to have a nap, but uh, by the time I got off my computer, uh, just watching YouTube, catching up with some stuff, you know, some series, I um, <laughs> I looked at the clock and it was like half nine. And me and my friends had decided to go shopping for the day because we're going on holiday in September. So um, you know, we went to go get, we wanted to go sort out some clothes and stuff. And my friend was coming to pick me up at half ten. I was like, and, and there's like no way that I can have a nap and actually wake up on time a nap for me is like six hours <laughs> like i'm terrible if i'm going for a nap i'm basically going for what most people would call sleep I, i'm absolutely terrible so i thought because I, I got into bed i wasn't actually going to record a video at all today but i got into bed and i was about to tweet out yo I'm, I'm not making a video i'm a bit tired but then i was like oh i can't I can't go to sleep it's like a religious routine you know having a video up every day i just feel feels wrong not uh you know editing a thumbnail editing the video it just feels like my day isn't finished or my day isn't completed you know it's really really strange so i thought oh, do you know what i'm gonna do a chill video just where i talk to people um you know show you some some exciting game breaking knowledge <laughs> i wouldn't say it's game breaking but uh, it's definitely definitely a good update and uh, of course i'm using my what is probably my favorite setup at the moment actually which is the ranger dead eye on ranger dead eye with the founders revolt the whisper point four five and the bald eagle which i haven't done a video on yet but it's a awesome weapon that's just we're at some distance but this weapon can hit up to like Ooh, some, some cheeky numbers man that I'll show you in a 130 video that's right I'll do a 130 on the bald eagle at some point but I don't know when whenever I feel like it deserves a 130 because I'm still playing around with it actually so um but it's good enough I mean it's compared to some of the weapons I reviewed I mean uh it has some legs to stand on oh what's in here I've got a uh, what's my objective gnomes Wow, just whacked two power cells. Okay, completely demolished that with one punch. Got three gnomes. Let's go help out with the objective. Grab that blue glow for no reason in particular. Other than to have... Okay, I thought I would have had two. And if we passed the pylon, I could have thrown it in. But I've only got one. So Arrogant Aiden now only has one blue glow. And maybe death. Oh, what's going on? Looks like I'm going to live another day. The turret isn't firing a single shot. Scary. Okay, where else are we going? I've seen quite a few people actually running like... Um, 
constructors in encampments now because of the I think it's Hazard the 13th I don't actually know if it is his decoy that has elect electric pulses that give damage or it's because they've just now equipped Ragnarok in tactical but uh, decoys give like a damage and if there were like four constructors all using decoys in turn you could most likely just literally do just decoy damage and uh, obviously you know you could uh, use some AOE damage but uh, if you've got four constructors rotating with you know decoys that could be that's some fresh that's like some raid meta right there you wait till Fortnite save the world starts bringing out raids and you've got people going absolutely mental on like uh, you know metas for healing you know how I was talking about like scythes and stuff oh do you see that you see that little crit there you know how I use like a scythe to heal health in raids and stuff like perks will become very very important like at the moment it's like oh how much damage could I get this weapon to do but uh, in a raid you know you're like oh I'm gonna need a weapon that can give me some health I'm gonna need a weapon that can kill you know this and uh, oh my goodness oh, raids in this game would be fantastic but there is way too much wrong at the moment I mean um, I was gone for two, for two days I come back there's like a dupe glitch absolutely destroying the game um, <laughs> and I was like what people were trying to all of a sudden drop me stacks of 200 sunbeam Aiden I found all of this just for you and I was like yeah, I uh, I can't take that. I, even if you did farm it, I wouldn't take it. All right, let's just say that your sunbeam. Oh, oh, oh! Talking about respect here on this game, and then multi sweet just comes flying over, steal all my stuff. Okay, well that's two blue glows. Now if we pass any of the pylons, we should be good. Oh my God, Aiden, has this video been cut yet? I don't know. I don't think so. I think I've been rather chatty. Grab these little poles here. Hmm. God damn. Oh, look, fire. Great. And there are a lot of husks. Let's throw Teddy down. Get this Founder's Revolt going. Honestly, I can't get off the Founder's Revolt uh, ever since I've been using it. Just because that bullet chain, man. It just cleans up so many husks. Uh, how many super encampments bonus destroy three? Okay. We should be fine. There's only seven minutes left into instruction. God damn. God damn. So what, this should be the second to last or the last encampment. And to be honest, we've been pretty slow. I've not really been, uh, you know, I'm pretty tired. I'm not out here to... Um, bust my balls but I still put in a good amount of effort I, I, I guarantee I come out with some good damage just because simply I can focus on shooting one husk with the bullet chain and the amount of extra damage it does on any other husk is just insane okay we've got some more active power cells there oh my god where's that next one then oh we won <laughs> it was it is just four so as you saw there though we won our mission by I actually done very little damage compared to what is that McFlurry Jess whatever you want to call her copyright banned demonetized sued by McDonald's how unreasonable wow and that's like my uh, damage output if you ask me what class I would use to get the most damage score it would be this one Damn, man, carried by that Jesk. GG's, and that, that King guy didn't get, you know, too bad damage either. He got a 4,000. God damn! That's a lot of damage! Okay, we don't need to know all that. But yeah, so destroy the encampments can now be finished early once completing the fourth bonus encampment. So if you've got a full team, uh, you know, where you've strictly made a build for AoE, i.e. Noble Launchers, Ninjas, I was going to use Dragon Scorch for this video, but I went with my Founder's Revolt. Um, and you know, you could bang out pretty quick. And if you look at the rewards I'm getting, not too bad. Obviously, not the V Bucks one, that's from my daily. You know, but that's an easy daily, not daily, uh, easy. 
Where are they? What are they called? These timed things. Mission alerts. If, you want, if, it, if, if an encampment mission now has a good mission alert. So like this one up here. Some tickets. Some lightning in a ball. Bang, bang, bang. You just bang it out. Easy peasy. And uh, I mean you can't really compare it to the Times 4 missions. Like Times 4 Survivor XP. I mean they're literally the only missions I do at the moment. But um, hopefully if they're speeding up missions like this. They can slowly work on making it so these missions can get a bit faster. Though these ones aren't too bad. It's like 20 minutes, I think, on average. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button to stay notified with my daily videos. That's right, daily. And I will see you in the next one. Adios.